Hi everyone, just wanted to do a quick video on changing symbology in QGIS. This seemed to be a bit of a stumbling point on the assignment for week seven, so I wanted to go back and refresh so you can move forward with your final project. Here we are with our chapter seven data. We're looking at California counties. This is our data set where if we open the attribute table, we'll see that it has that population density um, field in, in it. And this is what we'll be basing our symbology off of, how densely populated each county is to find those low population counties. To get to our properties, we can either right click and go to properties or we can double click on a layer name and it'll pop up. Um, I've been working on the symbology tab, so it automatically popped up. If you were in your settings or your info, you have to click on the symbology tab, which is this little paintbrush, and it'll bring up the symbology. Um, the next thing you want to do is since we're using our population density, it's our quantitative data. Um, so we can change from our single symbol where we're how it's being displayed now, where all counties are displayed the same in the same symbol to our graduated color symbology, which will display our counties based on um, population density. Um, so from our style, this is in the book, it calls it the style menu. It doesn't have a name anymore, but this is where you're getting that graduated option from. Um, for the column to use in this lab, we're using population density. So we'll find that um, quantitative data pop dens. Um, we want to keep it at five classes we want to change the mode or the classification scheme to quantile and you'll see those pop up. You can change the color scheme if you wanted. Um, so you can see some other options. We'll just stick with the default red right now. Um, some of you chose the uh, divergent color schemes. These are good if you had data maybe above or below zero if we we're looking at where population was increasing versus population was decreasing but if we're just looking at um, uh, 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 quantitative data that has that rank or order to it that's not diverging around a zero or the standard deviation stick to one of the ones that are just a solid color where the lower values will be in white the areas with more higher population density will be in dark blue um, and then we click OK. You can click Apply to see if you like those colors. Um, you could go back, oops, you could adjust it a lot if you wanted to. But you could all just go back and change to the reds or the greens um, and click OK. And you'll see your symbology has changed. Hopefully, this clears some things up about the graduated symbology in Q.